Jesus has many names and many titles. He wears more hats than I do, okay? And the difference is, is that he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, which means he rules over all. He is the reigning king, right? But not just that, he is preeminent. And we read this in Colossians chapter 1, so in verse 15. It says, The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth. Visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in him everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to re- reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. This is absolutely amazing. I love this about Jesus. He is preeminent because of what he did on the cross for us. Okay. Another point that I want to be able to make is in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. It says this, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. All right, We should be thinking about Jesus. Why? Because he is the ruler. At the end of all of this, right, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord, that he is the one that reigns over heaven and earth. And it's all going to come down to him. And so we need to be thinking about him in our daily lives. We need to be praising him because he deserves it because of what he did for us by shedding his blood on the cross.